Here are the five types of GPS. So, let's get started. Number 1. Personal trackers. Personal trackers monitor people or even pets. Usually, they work through a personal device like a pocket chip or bracelet. The devices are then activated. After activation, users can remotely locate and follow the device. The personal tracker transforms a smartphone into an easy-to-use two-way satellite tracking and messaging device using a Bluetooth connection to the Honeywell app. Number 2. Asset trackers. Asset tracking refers to the method of tracking physical assets, either by scanning barcode labels attached to the assets or by using tags using GPS, BLE, LoRa, or RFID which broadcast their location. These technologies can also be used for indoor tracking of persons wearing a tag. Similar to personal trackers, asset trackers can be used for non-vehicular items. Asset trackers can be anything from a small radio chip to large satellite tags. Number 3. Cell-based GPS vehicle tracking. Vehicle tracking, with either cellular or satellite networks, is probably one of the most common types of GPS tracking. Cell-based vehicle tracking is more common than satellite tracking. This system uses a device to capture data from the vehicle and then reports the data by using cell towers. Compared to satellite tracking, cell-based vehicle tracking costs less and reports faster. Number 4. Satellite-based GPS vehicle tracking. Sometimes, cell-based vehicle tracking will not work because cell towers are unavailable in the area. Satellite tracking offers a solution to this problem. Through satellite networks, businesses can get updates from even the most remote locations. Number 5. Cellular-based tracking. The last example is cellular tracking. Currently, some businesses use cell phones as a GPS tracker. The process is quite simple, after installing a phone app, the phone uses internet data to record and report its location. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.